So. We've got, we've got a new, um, we've got a new, uh, we've got a new little, uh, man cave. We've got a new man cave, mate. Yeah. Woo! Oh, actually went really well. I yeah, know. I'm going to take some more teasers before yeah. we get started. What's going on? So today, we spent, we spent a fair bit of time sorting out the garage. Because and we showed up in the same jumper, which is really embarrassing. We turned up in the same jumper as well, didn't we? This wasn't arranged, I promise. Oh, I'm gonna double check what episode we're on. <laughs> I think it's eight or nine. No, I'm hoping it's ten, because that would be really, really convenient. I am gonna label this as series two. Season two. Makes it sound like a TV program. I like it. Thank I like much. it. Thank you very much. I'd let it uh, add that little uh, brain. Storm, or if you're offended by that shit, mind map on the way here. No, if you're offended by that shit, fuck, fuck you. off. <laughs> so, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Broke Boys and Chill, episode nine, and the official start to season two of Broke Boys and Chill. What's going on? Right, hang on, open up there. So, as you can see, shit's changed, bro. We have got like a full-on little man cave, boy cave, whatever you want to fucking call it. Um. And I feel that we're sitting too close. So let's give it a little. Uh, yeah, let's give it a little spin. So let, let me let me give you the, test. let me give you the lowdown. Basically, it drives really well. It drives um, really good. It's a bit poorly made. It is good. Oh, do you know what I said? This needs to be christened, doesn't it? This needs to be christened. So let me give you the rundown as to how this came about. So I'm sitting at home one evening. Like just before Ultimate Dubs, were you joining in? Or is this, are they like expressions of, oh, this is what happened? No, this is expression of, oh, fucking hell, this story again. Okay. And uh, Amar from Eurospot, of course, we're having a little chat, and I said, do you know what would be really cool if we bought a sofa for Ultimate Dubs? Because then we got somewhere to chill. Did you notice that name drop as well? <laughs> yeah, of course, I've dropped that. No, because they, like the, they like the shout outs. <laughs> The free shout out for Eurospot. They fucking said, yeah, that'd be a really cool idea. So I said, yeah, that'd be sick. I'm going to get a, a, a settee. I haven't called it a settee in years. It's a sofa. It's a sofa. So I said, yeah, okay, we'll go get a sofa. So I've gone on Gumtree that night. It's like one in the morning, three hours before someone 20 minutes from my house has put this bad boy up on Gumtree for 30 pound. So when I picked it up the next day, swung the bitch 30 quid, it was... And then yeah, now we've got our very own sofa. And it wasn't until I got to UD where I was like, bro, we've got a fucking sofa. Did you know what it's gonna be? Getting out. Getting it out. Yeah, I know. For shows. But, but yeah, bro, we've got well, a sofa no, to be for, fair, for, that, for that, that's and chill. Anyway. So that means what you're gonna see for season two is more people, because look, hang on. Ooh. He's still in it, and we can have a we can have a celebrity guest. A celebrity guest, i.e., someone we know. Someone we know because we don't know celebrities. No. Maybe an Instagram famous I met, guest. Um, I met Nasty Nick once. I did. Extenders. And that was all because of me. No, I wouldn't. I it, wouldn't say that. You were only there because you were there to see me. Well, I also met Martin Fowler once, which is also all because of all me. All because of me. That's two extenders. The old Martin Fowler, bro. The old Martin Fowler, not the new one, he's shit. So maybe we can get some Instagram famous people on the sofa because that's as far as our fame stretches. Maybe a couple of 10k followers, a couple of thousand followers. Low set crew? Low set crew, maybe. Who else? Swifty McWearing. Swifty McWearing, wearing McSwift. Swifty wearing, Swifty uh, wearing, wearing. Underscore, wearing. Wearing. underscore. Um, we're gonna obviously be doing more fun things and we have something planned and this is gonna be so cool I'm not saying it because otherwise we'll give it away. Basically, it's gonna hurt me. But in the next two weeks We're we're purposely hurting Is it next Mike. two weeks? Uh, he said two weeks. He said give it two weeks and you should be able to come after that date Alright, so yeah, so we're getting we're somebody hiring a man hooker we're, we're hiring someone to anally, no I'm joking, to really, really help mine. And other than that, we've got nothing planned. But we're going to pretend that we do, because yeah, we've it's got easier that way. It's easier. I mean, enough. just don't ask questions. We've got loads planned. We've got loads yeah. planned. But, what are you about? Of course we've got loads planned. Stop asking. And, ah, oh, here's something as well. 
So we're thinking of decorating this little area right here. As you can see, we've gone for a little, uh, as you can see right here, yeah. Uh, this is an extreme offset, which will and should be on my car very, very soon. Um, we have an axe, and we thought we'd just sell it there. We just thought we'd celebrate the fact that we do have an axe, because who the fuck has an axe? Um, quite a few people. Quite a few people, but not round here, because we're in London. Uh, and you'll be surprised. All right. Well, w well, I, I don't have an axe, and my There's shitloads of trees. The there is. Um, then we've gone with the, uh, the stereotypical normal blue background that we had previously, which I'm not really that much of a fan of. But it works we, for now. It works for now. We are going to be covering this area. If you have something really fucking cool that you think could go up here, like maybe in a photo frame, maybe something to hang. Maybe something to like display, like just for pure banter, less of the advertisement purposes, just pure fucking banter. Like, I'm cool for a dildo to go here, maybe. No, that was too far. It's my family garage. It is your family garage. And there's little children that come in here too, isn't there? Well, not in here, but you get me. Loads of little children. If you've got something cool that you think would look really cool right here, then please let us know. DM us, Facebook message us, Instagram us in some sort of way, comment on this video and send it to us. We'll send you over our uh, address and uh, hopefully we get a couple of cool send-ins because that will be strange but cool. It'd be like fan mail. Fan mail. We're taking fan mail now. We have no fan. You've got no friends. Yeah, no, no, uh, well, actually, no. Go on. Because used underwear, you sell it, send it in. Send it in, send it in. Well, no, actually, no, money. I'm not. Used underwear, we will get men's boxes. Yeah, that's funny, though. That's disgusting. It's funny. We won't open it. If I get any sort of shit stained boxer through my fucking letterbox, I will not be happy. Because I'm giving them your address. <laughs> oh, that's funny, because no one's ever in my house. No one's ever in mine. So, you're most probably, like, we've had a couple of people comment. You're most probably thinking, broke boys usually do vlogs. And I usually vlog behind the scenes of the show. Yeah. Yeah, let me explain. So, UD was last weekend. We're shooting this the weekend after. Um, and we vlogged about half of it, i.e. up to Saturday night. Yeah. Now, we, I'm, I'm saying this like it's a bad thing, but I'm also saying it like it's a good thing too. When it got to the Saturday evening, I started to forget because we had so much on. And then on the Sunday, we were so fucking rammed, yeah. like so ridiculously rammed, picking up the camera and trying to vlog was just a no-go. Like it was just yeah. not gonna happen. It was ridiculous. I don't, like don't get me wrong, I'm well happy because we was like, s like fucking so busy. But I think next time, it's also, yeah. whatever yeah. the next show may be, we need to arrange something maybe if we're gonna vlog ourselves to be a little bit different. But to make up for it, we do have something really good planned. I mean, it's one of those, we've got some planned things again. And it, but it is actually happening. It's definitely ha happening for Fitted UK. And I'm thinking of getting something else done before that as well. And you might see some sort of hints towards it on the Instagram too, so stay tuned. But on the other hand, um, and on like the flip side of things, something that we haven't promoted a lot yet because we have a little bit of trouble with it on mobile devices, is Harry Pitcher. I'm going to drop his Instagram and his like YouTube in the description below and maybe on the screen right now. Harry shot our like after movie of the whole show and it's actually the best UD video out there right now. Bias, but I don't actually care. It is. Um, it's got everything. It's got laughs. It's got a ginger kid. It's got. Um, it's diverse. Shane. It's diverse. It's got Shane in it. And that's if all you anything, need in a video. You should just watch it for Shane. I'm going to drop his fucking Instagram. That's all you need in a video. Just Shane. Is that kid? Bless him. Other than that, it was actually the sickest show and I, and I proper loved it. And it's just so annoying that it's, it's at the beginning of the year and not towards like maybe the middle or the end because now it's over. Does that make sense? 
like as you build up, I think I feel like I build up my whole show season. No? Yeah. I I like it. Did they do your beard as well? No, I didn't. Beard. That's really well done, mate. You got you, yeah. You did quite well. No, all right then. I think my it's one of the best shows of the year. And it's a sick one. Was, yeah. It's a sick one to start with. And I think it's just in a sick location too. I don't mind Telford. I really like Telford. It's good for a night out. As you found out. <laughs> Very good for a night out. Yeah, they fucking kept me awake. You I think, well, I woke you up once. Whoa! I, no, you woke me up twice. Why? You come in with AJ. Yeah, that weren't my fault. Don't care. Then you went back out. Then you come back in. And you fucking, br like, you weren't snoring. Just heavy breathing like a bitch. I was pissed. I went to bed at like, Mate, I was so Four o'clock, half three, four o'clock. Do not understand the amount of people that bought me drinks. Um, now, a lot of you are most probably thinking as well, what's happening with the car event that you're hosting? And why did you release a poster and nothing else? Well, just to let you know, I arrange stuff kind of late. I.e., I don't do shit first, I do it after. So just to give you an idea, most people that plan a car show plan everything first and then release the dates and know everything that's happening and maybe plan a little bit in between. No, legit, I just found where it's going to be and the and rest decided, yeah. and the rest is kind of... But, but it's, it's because we it's found like it a late. good action movie. Yeah. Every, every good action movie's got a time limit. I don't know. Anyway, so it, it might... I'm not going to say anything, but I need to arrange some things first and then there'll be another announcement announcing what's going to happen. Now, a lot of people are going, is it a car show? Is it a car meet? Well, to be fair, to begin with, we were like, let's have a larger than life car meet and let's do it like a little bit basic. And then halfway oh, through, and shit. yeah, then halfway through, a lot of people kind of got really excited at the fact that we've got a car show. And I, I, I no, it's not really technically a between. car show. It's in between. It's and a car sheet. Uh, yeah, Waring said that yesterday. A sheet. Yeah, but I've said it on film now. So you're first. Mm. If you're interested in trade, hit me up because I will be sending out a little trade pack just to let you know what's going down. If you're interested in club stands and you run a club, then hit me up because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate a little small space to club stands too. And if you are interested in coming along, then wait because I'm going to be releasing something very, very, very soon. And the poster is banging. Oh, the poster's banging. It was made by... Two shot. Two shot design. I'll drop his little link. Favourite car at UD by far. If you were there and you came over and you saw where we were, opposite us, there's a company called River Design or Reva Design. I don't know how you like to pronounce it. But the RX7 on there. Yeah, exactly. That was my favourite car. It was my favourite car. Though. What was your favourite car? It was the Rat Rod. The Rat Rod? Yeah. Do you not have anything else? No. No? No. Just the Rat Rod. I like rat rods. Too much. Why was it so small? Did you notice that? Because it was made from a, a small smaller car. Yeah. All right, yeah, cool. I mean, as in, I didn't. Well, I don't know. It just looked a little bit small. Because it was made from a small car. It's, it's, that's that's the only answer you need. Okay. That's the only answer I can give you. That's the only answer you're gonna get. Mine was the RX7 or the Audi R8, the black one, the all blacked out one. Owned by the RS4 or something. I can't remember his Instagram. But the guy just bosses Audis. He just wins on all Audi front. Like even if he's got the RS6. Got purple RS6, which is like fucking ridiculous horsepower. Although I do like that greeny. No, not green. What am I about that pinky? Um, 350. 350Z. Yeah. Owned by JB350. He's got one of our stickers. He's got one of our stickers. He does. It's a banging car. It's a fuchsia. Is that the colour? That's the colour. That's the actual name. I'm not just being... That is the actual name. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and hit us up on all social media aspects at Broke Boys UK. Say bye. Apart from Twitter. Peace. Our show. Or, uh, and then, yeah. Or and our sheet. Or, or, or an our sheet. Or, or mop. Mo, mo, mop, mo. Sheet and mo. Our car mo.